everyone. Happy Friday. Someone's probably going to shout this on doing this because I'm in the middle of London. But, uh, yeah, I've come down to London for the weekend to see Anna. Um, it's about half nine right now and she's just finishing work so I'm going to go meet them. And it's a very nice weekend this weekend. Weekend. Um, because we're going to see Frozen for Anna's belated 21st birthday present. So I'll update you more when I actually see her because there's a lot more people than I anticipated here. Oops. <laughs> Hello everyone. Hello. So I can't really remember where I left off. It was in Westfield. I vlogged when I was outside of Westfield. Oh, so I was feeling quite brave. Uh, then there's too many people in. I thought some teenagers were going to shout at me. So hi, we're in London. Anna's always in London, but I'm in London now too. Um, and it is. Oh, finished work o'clock. Quarter past eleven. Oh god. So I. Got to work about half past seven today. I worked at primary school, so I was the Easter Bunny all day. I'll pop a photo in just to explain that. Then finished work, got straight on. Well, I got dropped at the train station, got the train to London, which is about three hours. Then commuted over to Anna's work, which is about 40 minutes. And then we had grand plans to go out for Anna's flatmates. Birthday. Yes. Happy birthday, Elise. Happy birthday, Elise. Um, but by the time we got there, there was like problems with the tube and and I'm knackered. Yeah. <laughs> and we're both like I was sat there trying to, but I just felt awful. So I'm really sorry, Elise. But we ended up coming back, and we're just having a chill one tonight because tomorrow what we're we doing? We're going to see Frozen. There we go. <laughs> um. Yeah, so just a wee update on where we are now. Me watch keeps a chance to end my workout. I'm not working out. But yeah, we're just we're gonna go have a little chill. Catch up, because we don't see each other very often. Yeah, and then go to bed and get up tomorrow. As people do. <laughs> just just so wild living in our twenties, aren't we? <laughs> we're gonna have an early <laughs> night. <laughs> so see you tomorrow. <laughs> It's just like throwing it back to when we live together. We've got love is blind on. <laughs> you enjoy your love is blind. <gasps> I think this is the moment. The moment. <gasps> oh, is this the wrong name? I think so. I'm going to spend the rest of my life with him. Like, oh no. Like he's the one. Oh no. Oh, it's gonna happen. Oh no. Hi. Who was my deal? I don't know. Take a guess. No, I'll tell you. I'll just say no. There you go. <laughs> what? Oh. oh I smell something far. So what are you wearing over there? Good morning. I'm looking lovely. I'm looking lovely. I don't know what. Is it like half ten? Yeah, it's not really morning. I mean, it's still morning. Yeah. Um, I woke up at 8 o'clock this morning. I think I've been lying in bed watching TikTok for about an hour and a half now. Um, but Anna has just made breakfast. Can't remember the last time I had breakfast. And we're going with the ultimate breakfast, which is... Eggs and soldiers. Eggs and soldiers. So, yeah. What's a, what a hearty way to start the day. Um. I think I start every section at the minute of this vlog, which is what you're busy doing in the background. Um, so we've had breakfast. Very thank you, Anna. Um, we've straightened up and we're just getting ready to go out at the moment. Anna's on a twenty-step makeup routine, so it could be another couple of hours. We're not really sure yet. Um, but I was saying, Anna, I need to share a revelation because when I got to the King's Cross station last night, I was intrigued to say the least, wasn't I? Mm -hmm. Um, so I lived in London for four years and I've been visiting London, um, you know, for years since I was a kid. And I always knew that at King's Cross, you uh, had to pay to go to the toilet. Um, because I distinctly remember, were you on the school trip with us? Billy Elliot? Possibly Billy Elliot. We were on a school trip and, um, when I was like, 13 or something possibly a little bit older but 
uh, went to school trip and I didn't want to pay for the toilet so I just decided to vault over the 20 pence spinny what are they called? Turnstile. Turnstile. I'm glad I've got you here. <laughs> uh, so I just vaulted over one of them, uh, misjudged it slightly, tripped, face planted. Um, but ever since then I've refused to pay 20 pence to go to the toilet. So me and Anna thought we'd find this mint hack of go look at the colour difference of our skin. <laughs> what <laughs> I'm gonna come back up here. Um <laughs> we don't even look like the same my hand actually matches my face for one, so. I know, but I'm laughing at this one little white patch here. With my hair, like. So, we thought we'd find this neat hack where you go to, because uh, we used to get the train from uh, King's Cross up and down the country, and it turns out if you go to St Pancras, they had free toilets, and we were like, this is mint. Well done us. You know, we've... we've we have crap the system here, like, um, and then it turns everyone out everyone about it. Yeah, family, friends, and then I was coming in the station last night, and I decided I need a way, like, right as the train was pulling in, so I could go to the toilet. And I was like, I'm bursting. I don't know if I'll make it over to St Pancras. I'm gonna see if I can just pay to go to the toilet. And was googling whether, like, how much it was to go to the toilet. Turns out, since 2019, you have not had to pay to go to the toilet at King's Cross. And I've been running across to St Pancras every single time I'm at the train station. So that was a revelation. Um, so yeah, to anyone that I've told that you'd have to go to St Pancras to go to the toilet for a free wee. No, you don't. Just stay in King's Cross. That's fine. And apparently it got voted low of the year. So it was quite a fancy toilet. Other revelation. So bear in mind, London, four years. Surrounded by Pret and... This is what I thought you were going to say. Yeah. Pret and Starbucks and things like that. So when you're in the station, I used to get a Boots meal deal and then a Pret coffee. I don't really like Pret coffee. But anyway, Greg's. There's a massive Greg's that's opened in King's Cross. The North had taken over and now I'm here for it. But yeah, that was, that was my revelation of the day. And Anna looks like she was on step like 12 of our makeup routine. <laughs> So um, I'm going to start getting ready. This <laughs> is going well. Okay, it's finally one o'clock and we're finally leaving the house. We've been trying to take photos for like the last 20 minutes and we just suck at it, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> we're trying, but it's, it's not going it's well. well. So, plan? Don't really. We're, we're here talking the about the, the idea of a plan. <laughs> Look how close we are. Don't. We're so, <laughs> so close to leaving and doing something. We have six hours until the show. We're going to give that an hour long commute. We're going to give that. Well, let's an, just go. Yeah, an hour before we get the show. So we're like four hours. Hopefully we do something today. I don't know. <laughs> margaritas. Anna just said margaritas. I'm not opposed to the idea. Turtle Bay is down the road. Just opened. <laughs> Not turtle bay. Bassaguanas. Bass turtle bay has been there for ages. Let's go get what drunk. It's one of the best shop in the world. It's an investment. It'll be good for the economy. <laughs> so that's one for dad. He likes his minion stuff, doesn't he? Girls at Disney. <laughs> 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 and we were going to go to Notting Hill but then by the time we are going to get there to get sorted to turn around and go back because we want to get food before the show I know we just had nachos caught this video but I feel like if we have a slow wander around grab some food slow wander back to the theatre theatre drinks after the theatre 
I just want to be starving in the middle of the show, is yeah. what I'm thinking. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, that's all we are. Trapped. Trapped. Oh, the oh, gap, the gap. Ah. There's been yet another change of plans. Um, so, it's really busy. I don't know if it's just because it's. It's not even just because it's a weekend, is it? It's like weekend, school holidays. We came into Common Garden as the frozen afternoon show was coming out, so it was just heaving. Walk through Leicester Square, heaving. Man, electric bike. So we just picked up some milkshakes and I'm going to go for a wander. Hopefully, it's a little bit quieter. But I'll we'll probably go in four or five minutes before the show starts. Yeah. So. So we're just going to the theatre. We have um, a bottle of wine. Um, Which wasn't bad advice, I didn't think. No, no. 2024? That's not bad. Um, the fact that um, Wicked, it's £40. So, so never buy a bottle of Wicked. Notice how we know how much bottles of wine are in various things. So yes, we've got a bottle of wine. We're not allowed to take it until we're going to sit here and have a little drink. We had a little walk around the theatre, took some photos. It's gorgeous, it's really gorgeous. So pretty. The, the bars are really pretty as well. Like. <laughs> but you can like come here like just for like afternoon tea and like things like that. So yeah, very excited. Yeah, thank you Louise, thank you Will. Thank you Will. So we're in here, we are. Very Anna, Anna was really worried that she wasn't going to be able to see the stage because she forgot her glasses. more concerned that they're going to see us crying. <laughs> yeah, so again, thank you very much to Louise and Will. <laughs> very excited. We so came out the show, the show was amazing. <laughs> like again, thank you Louise and Will. Oh, it's I just, I still can't get up with the costume change. No, I know. I couldn't talk about it. It's just costume in the second act. Like, <laughs> I need that. Don't know where I'd ever wear it, but I need it. You know, it was amazing. But just before the um, end of Louise went, you know about Hogan's son, don't you? I was like, what? You've not seen it. You, you know, you know. Um, so I just sat in the Cecil Bar now, which is inside the theatre. And when I booked tickets, I got an email the other day saying that there's an exclusive offer. If you come to the Cecil Bar after the show, you get um, £10. Yeah. Exclusive cocktails, so we're both enjoying a pink prince charming. Yeah, so we're happy to come in at 20 first. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, so we kind of like ended the vlog. Um, we literally, we got home yesterday and your hair looks so red. I was just thinking that. Um, we got home and it took forever because the tube just kept cancelling. Um, yeah, there was like severe delays on the central line. Yeah, so we got back, got on McDonald's, <laughs> started watching TV and just went to bed. Yeah. Um, so I didn't think it was that interesting to film. No. Then we got up today, went for a little walk around, got food, had the casino lounges, um, went around some of the shops. We just had a bit of a moochie day and it wasn't that interesting to show you, so we no. just thought probably best to have a little sign off here. Yeah, so now we're off. Louise is going for the train and I'm off to work, so. And by the time I get to work, by the time I get home, so what we start with at half four. Yeah. My train's at half five, I get the half eight and I'm still be at work. So send love to Anna. Because she's going to be knackered by some. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, give it a like. Maybe maybe comment down below about your weekend. Yes. Um, it's not only things that you can do in Central, because you always have always had a problem. We go out in Central and never know what to do. Yeah. So if you have any ideas what to do in Central, so let us know. Yeah. 
but yes, subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss any of our future videos from the Townsend sisters. And have a great day. <laughs> Thanks.